Hey guys, Chuck's from Red Toss, Tortuga Ranch, repping Rocky, repping Philly, woo woo. Uh, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the Diamondback Terrapin enclosure and how I keep their pond oxygenated throughout the winter time and how they hibernate and what their process is. So let's take a look at that. This is the Diamondback Terrapin outdoor enclosure and it is 30 foot wide by 40 foot long. So it's a 30 by 40. The pond itself is a 20 by 30. So it's 20 wide, 30 long front to back. So the animals themselves are hibernating. They're in it. It looks like a barren wasteland right now. This, these lumps right here, these mounds of, of dirt, this is actually where they all lay their, their eggs. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. They all lay their eggs. And then little divots there are where I actually use my hand and dig out some, some nest cavities. And um, most of my animals here are ground hatched. It is the third of December. And we still got a couple of box turtles. There's a box turtle pen next to us here. We still got a couple of box turtles that are actually up. Not sure. I guess it's just because it's a little unseasonably warm right now. But uh, so, okay, let's get into this. What do I do? So what I do is I keep the pump running all year long, 24-7. We have a lot of natural structure, a lot of natural driftwood, big trees. There's trees I found in the woods. And uh, if I'm able to carry them with my sons, we bring them in here. So the pump goes from that corner where there's a little, there's a little depression. It gets a little deeper right there. The, the actual pump is sitting in there. And the pump, you can see the white pipe coming out of the ground there. The pump just pumps water into this spillway pond. Now this is an 800 gallon spillway pond. I know things might look small on the video, but this is like a seven foot radius. Now inside here are all cattails. And this is how I filter my ponds. I filter my ponds with, with natural plants. I filter my ponds with natural plants. And that's how, you know, the water stays nice and clear. You can see the leaves right through the water. Okay. So I know I'm jumping all over the place here. Just bear with me. So the water gets pumped in right here. And cycles through the plants. The roots of the plants grab a hold of all that negative stuff and and it comes out of the spillway right there the process of the water going out the spillway creates all them bubbles and it's it saves me from having to put an aerator in my pond i know a lot of people who have a lot of success aerating their ponds air does amazing things oxygen does amazing things in the water this actually gives me enough oxygen. As we all know, when the turtles hibernate, they go down to the bottom. They go, you know, very slow. They go into their, their trance and they absorb oxygen from the water. And that's how they live. They're not breathing through their lungs anymore, at least not during hibernation. And then, you know, they come up when the water gets warmer in spring and they start basking on the logs. And that's how they do it. And that's how I keep oxygen in the water. Now the pond build itself, somebody had wanted me to talk about the build itself. This is pressure treated 16 foot two by 12 material. These are. These are two by 12s. I did run a machine and I dig, did deep, dig down deep. So I'm a little old school. You see there's a third one where you can see there. There's actually two underground, two underground, two above ground. So it takes four two by 12s. Now I know a lot of people who get away with just three. I do four. I don't want anybody getting out. I don't want anybody getting in. I did have a problem before with uh, 
weasels and rats, things like that. Um, I'm sure even foxes could probably do it. But I, most animals are gonna give up digging once they get to, you know, once they realize that, that they're just hitting nothing but wood. So that's what I do. There's two two by 12, 16 foot pressure treaters, pressure treated boards underground. And there's two two by 12 pressure treated boards above ground. And then of course the top cap is just so nothing can climb out. This little top cap here, this lip, is a two by six pressure treated. Pressure treated lumber lasts a long time. It's, it's, I mean, I, I was at my other house for 22 years. And when I left, the pressure treated lumber was still in good condition. Yeah. And that's just how I do all my ponds and my divides and box turtles. Can you believe these things are still up? Mama, it's December 3rd, mommy. When are you gonna go down? Take a little nappy. Now, most of my box turtles already did go down. There's only, uh, there's only a few. There's like three that are up. Let's take a little walk in this pond and see if we see any that are up. This is the same thing. Two two by 12s underground, two two by 12s above ground. Same thing, spillway, pump. Here the pump is sitting inside of a, a basket to try and keep dirt and debris from going into the pump. I still have a problem with leaves. I still gotta get leaves out of there, but it's the same thing. It's the same 800 gallon pump, the same process, the same oxygen going into the water. So that's like uh, two birds with one stone, as they say, you know? Uh, it gives me moving water, moving water doesn't freeze. Also, it gives me oxygen, which is all them nice bubbles you see. Oxygen-rich environment is always a good environment. And same thing here, the cattails have died down for the winter time. You see all the movement, the water's moving. Let's just take a little walk around, see if we see any box turtles out. Wouldn't surprise me at all if there was box turtles out because I see box turtles out in the other one. So yeah, we have two, two pens with box turtles because we have a you know, decent amount of box turtles and we don't want, we don't want them overcrowded. And this is how I make my corners. And it's the same thing. I mean, this is how I make my ponds. I, and and uh, th there's a little squiggly line going there, but um, that's just because the roots and the machine and the way it went. Hello, Miss Gabby. Hello, Gabby. You wanna say hi, Daddy? Come here. Oh, Daddy's baby. She Daddy's baby. Yes, she is. Yeah, Gabby loves everybody. And Gabby's our little donkey. My little Jenny. Somebody had mentioned Cisco as a name, but we have uh, already had Gabby. What are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, all right. This is not a farm animal video. Okay, so this is how we make our corners. And we're just Home Depot pressure treated two by 12s and a two by six on top as a top cap so the animals can't climb out. Okay, I requested, I was requested to make a video a little longer and discuss how I build the pens. And uh, I promised I would do that, so I did that. And uh, we'll do another one in the spring when more animals are out. But this is basically um, the gist of that. And uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you for spending some time with me.